The hour of the dead is almost here. The Walking Dead returns for its third season tonight Sunday October 14th with an action-packed edge of your seat premiere that's sure to erase any sour memories of farms and the same kids from the AMC zombie drama second year. MTV News caught an early screening of the premiere episode, titled Seed. Read on for our five reasons why the episode is can't miss television for any and all fans of The Walking Dead. The quick and the dead if you are one of the many who criticized season thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. To up and sluggish pace, you won't have that same complaint with the season 3 premiere. It's easily the fastest, most violent episode of the entire series. Indeed, it probably has the highest walker body count of any hour of Walking Dead to date. If you follow this show purely for Greg Nicotero's signature brand of guts and gore, you will be wildly pleased with the face-melting premiere. The Rick Tatcher Shane's death hit many fans hard, not just because he was an excellent character, but because the show's remaining lead, Rick, was often indecisive. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. And, frankly, a little bit boring. Not so in Season 3. Like a Wendigo who gets stronger by consuming his enemy's flesh. Rick has become an infinitely more interesting character having killed Shane. He's ready to make hard calls. He doesn't give a hoot if he's unpopular. He certainly doesn't have time to hear Laurie's complaints anymore. After two seasons of trying to do the right thing while still coming off as the good guy, Rick now only cares about doing what needs to be done for him and his. No question asked. He is the hero we know from thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The comics. He is, in a word, awesome. Time heals all wounds months have passed between seasons 2 and 3 not just in real life, but in showtime as well. The characters and the story all benefit from the passage of time. The relationships between Maggie and Glenn, Daryl and Carol, even Carl and Beth, all of them, really, feel more fully formed than ever before. This is a group that's been through hell and back together for months and months now. They function as a cohesive unit, and there's very little that frightens them. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Anymore. Our heroes aren't just survivors now. They're battle-hardened warriors, and you won't want to bet against them. A little samurai goes a long way. Mikanade makes her hood free debut during the season 3 premiere, but her appearances and, subsequently, Andreas are few and far between compared to the rest of the main cast. That's quite all right. Actually, what little we get of Mikanate is absolutely fantastic and fully faithful to the sword-swinging survivor of the comic books. Danny Iguero positively owns a role in her few minutes of screen time, promising big things to come as thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The season progresses. Where we're headed we won't dive into spoilers here, but take it from us, based on how this episode ends, you're going to have a very difficult time waiting a whole week for the next hour of story. The final moments of Seed are as intense as anything the show has ever given us, moments to rival Dale and Shane's respective deaths. As an added bonus for longtime dead heads, the final scene contains two moments lifted almost directly from the comic books themselves. Readers. You're going to love the episode's final reveal. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. You follow me?